Hey Scorpio! Alright, this will be a love reading, okay? Everybody doesn't get a love reading every month, so you guys are lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get everyone one, but I never make any promises anymore, you know? But I can promise you this, today you're getting a love reading, okay? Alright, so we're gonna look at, you know, what's going on in your love life, and then we're gonna look at how they feel about you, and just really focus on that. I'm not gonna focus on what you should or shouldn't do, or the advice, or... We're just gonna look at the person on your mind, and how they feel about you, okay? And how you maybe feel about them, alright? Let's see. That's it. Just, let's talk about it. Alright, so show me what's coming towards Scorpio and love. What's going on with Scorpio? So you have reparenting yourself. So that, I never understood why that card is important. I'm not gonna lie, but it is important because under that you have soulmates, okay? So this is why. <laughs> so this is about saying like, you're about to be in a situation, Scorpio, where you're gonna have to like really coach yourself in your the way you think because somebody's gonna blow your mind, okay? The soul connection that you're about to enter, the similarities you guys have, um, it's like, it's like you're both are two fairies, okay? Like, you're like, I thought I was the only unicorn. No, nah, this is unicorn meets unicorn, all right, okay? So this is about you're gonna have to be like really like coach yourself through this because you're it's like you might not have the right reactions. Like it's like I'm a Scorpio and my mommy's always have to tell me, Vanessa, fix your face. Like you, <laughs> you could see every reaction on my face. I was always quiet, but I would be like, but why? Or but who? What's wrong with this person? Oh, you don't see this person is that or their energy is just stink. Like and the funny thing is, it was like I had to learn. To like not show my cards, I mean, you know, show my hand every time with my facial reactions. So I had to parent myself in real life, like, uh, you know, think before I act a little bit. All right. So this is what it's saying. You're gonna feel like that because you're getting with somebody very spiritually mature. Oh my gosh. So all those little tests you do and all those little like, you know that control that Scorpios we need to have a little bit over the situation and not giving as much to see what they'll give you better not do that because this is a divine masculine energy so whoever this is their their inner masculine is divine it's it's a protector it's, it's not a it's not playing any games with you Scorpio it's, it doesn't it doesn't you don't need to do all that this is this is a, this is when you have to tell yourself oh I, it's time for me to grow up Okay, that's time for me to be honest. I can be vulnerable. Are you mean you mean I can be vulnerable? I hear that. I hear it. It's like Vanessa, I can be vulnerable. You can be vulnerable. That's what I'm saying. You can be vulnerable. You can be your your little cutesy little childlike self with this person. I love it. I love it. Okay? I love it. Alright, let's see what else you got coming towards you. In love. Let's see what this Amir deck wants to tell us. What's, what, what's this, how's this person, what's this person view Scorpio? Somebody wants, you're gonna be dating someone? You could be dating them already, some of you. I wanna date you, they wanna clank glasses with you. That, that to me is a two of cups card. That's another soulmate card for me in this deck. Even though they have a soulmate card, I always view that as like, no, like we're see, I, we, 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 um, the moon is there. It's like my intuition tells me this is right for me. Like this is a deep, deep, deep intuitive twin soul. Okay, so I feel like you'd be dating someone where it just seems too good to be true. It's almost like that's why you're reparenting yourself. Like, what? Like, <laughs> my mom didn't teach me this. My dad didn't teach me that. You know, society didn't teach me this. But guess what? It's like no one could teach you it if they haven't experienced it themselves. What I'm getting is you're going to be experiencing something not many people um, on this earth get to experience. It's like a rare, rare, deep love, a rare thing, a rare mutual admiration, affection. Okay, tell me about this soulmate. Tell me about this soulmate. They're a wallflower. They watch you, Scorpio. I get that this person, it's like they adore you so much. Under that, you have blonde female. That to me is like a ditzy, quirky, right? So it's like they watch you and they just feel like, you're so quirky, you're so weird, and they just fall in love. They just fall in love watching you. Like this person could watch you all day. They just wanna be around you. They just wanna share. They wanna see what they wanna see what it's like when you taste something new or you eat something new. They wanna they wanna know what it's like when you you hear or see a place for the first time. I'm getting with this mountain. It's like they wanna take they wanna take you somewhere you've never been. They wanna they wanna go spiritual center with you and they wanna see what happens to you when you get there. Like they, this is great. Like this person's like, no, I did well for myself. I could provide and I wanna I just wanna I want someone that I adore and I enjoy enjoy. I wanna be in love. I wanna I want to share my life with somebody who's wise and deserving and who inspires me and who makes me want to, um, who I'll kill for. Like this, wow, this is great. This, this is a total, complete, beautiful connection. And under there you have abundance. Oh, they like to like 
take you out, wine and dine you, but they also like to dance with you and enjoy time with you. They would like, like to write love notes to you, I'm getting. This is great. You guys are like two peas in a pod. And when you're not together, it's gonna feel like you don't want to be around anyone else but them. Like everything is boring when they're not not around. It's almost like they changed the color of the world for you. Like the world was is gray when they're not around, but it's bright and gorgeous, and the colors blind you almost when they're around. Like like you could eat the colors. They're so bright. Mm, I love it. Talk, talk about the spiritual maturity I see. I also see that this person could have been watching you or you could have been watching them for a long time. All right? You could have been observing this person, observe you. Because I know y'all Scorpio, can't nobody watch you without you watching back. All right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ice King and Twin Flames. Yeah, they watch you, they didn't say anything. <laughs> wow, look at this, your Twin Flame. I knew it was a Twin Flame. I felt that when I saw that. Only, only, you know why, you can tell the clues. Like. The only people that can teach you something new is somebody that phoenix like you. And I always look at the twin flame like a phoenix, like a twin phoenix, right? It's not enough to have a, a huge divine connection. A twin flame means they did the work on themselves. They changed themselves. They dared themselves to become like that phoenix energy, like kill the person you were and become who you know you could be deep, in, deep down inside and not take any ish. And that's a twin flame. You have to flame up. So this person, you that's why you have to reparent yourself. It's like, wow, like... I don't want to, I don't, it's like you magnetize, right? So they're just like you, they, they have this lion twice. So that to me means they're just, they, they have their own kingdom, they have their own empire. It also means they're a protector, that's the first, the first beast, so to speak, the king of the jungle. So it's kind of like, when I get the lion, I get like the lion order, the Leo constellation. I'm getting there like, there's something original or different about you that again two unicorns here okay um that they're the only person like you i'm getting the only other person like you on the planet for real for real i mean obviously if they're your twin flame but there's also something unique about each of you that that is that has nothing to do with the twin flame yeah this is a new person new love wow so i'm getting there's something unique about them like there's something unique talent you could have they share that talent and it's like whoa like how you know what other love messages can we get? And then I'll pull some tarot. What love messages can we get? I'm getting that this person, um, they could have just broken up with someone, get the Ice King. That's probably why they were quiet because they didn't want to involve you in such a thing. They had to wait for the right perfect time. Look, soulmate. Yep. These are all just all confirmations. Like, who cares the different terms, right? This could be a twin flame soulmate, right? So it's like. This person loves you, accepts you, and respects you unconditionally. That's what I'm getting. They just, they just, they just want to be be around you. They're so passionate about you. They want to tr like again try something you've never done before. That maybe there's a lot of things they wanted to try intimately, but they only ever wanted to try with their person. And they want to try with you. That's how they know you're their person too. That you make them think about stuff like that. Like they, I told you they've been watching you for a long time. They've been secretly yearning for you. They never told you. They were in denial. What I'm getting is they didn't think that someone like you would ever be attracted to someone like them. But they had to they had to get, clear their mind and clear their energy of all the people that, because uh, that's an insecurity they have, right? That, that has nothing to do with you. So that means they had to free themselves of all the energies around them that perpetuated that feeling within them, that, that, that helped foster those feelings. And when they did, they really realized how much they like you and how, probably how much y'all actually have in common, to be honest. Look, you got new love twice. New love twice. Okay, so then you have inner child again and you have children. Reparenting. Again, both of y'all had to grow up for this to happen. Because look, you, you guys are each other's abundance and you know it. It's like two people watching each other, watching, 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 watching. But not really coming towards each other because neither one thinks they're good enough. But then neither one wants anyone else. So there's a spiritual lesson y'all both learned here that you had to master about yourselves. You had to master something about yourself. Like maybe you knew you were a runner. Okay, I'm a, I'll am throw myself out there. I am a stage five runner, okay? That's why I do tarot, because it was, I had to figure myself out, guys. I, I, had, I had literally run from people who I knew I was in love with. I mean, obviously like in hindsight, maybe, you know, I'm glad it didn't or didn't happen, but I definitely am one of those people that had the one that got away and just cried about it for years. And the, it's it, it's okay now because I changed, so I'm not even a, would be attracted to that type of person anymore. But it taught me something. It taught me that the next time I meet someone, I want to you know, I feel a connection with. I won't run from it because 
I like to be in control, you know, as a Scorpio, I'm a sun and rising. Like I don't wanna, I never wanted to feel like less than or feel insecure. And I always wanted to feel like I had power in a situation. I always wanted someone to be obsessed with me before I, you know, I know. And that's, again, that's all insecurity. Like if I, if I have enough, if I love myself enough, right? I shouldn't, I shouldn't need anyone to validate how much they like me. They should just like me, right? I should believe it, right? But I didn't believe it. I had to, I had to have them validated, and that that enters, that leaves open a, um, a, the door for toxicity. So, but what it also does is that repels the people that really want to be with you because the people that are genuine usually have the same kind of insecurity as you, and, and you'll trigger them. So when I'm making someone, you know, playing too extra hard to get, I'm, I'm pushing another person away right so it's like a stage five runner the next person comes around who's like really good for me or, or someone I would really want to be with who I actually feel is a catch I completely felt unworthy I ran again so it's like darn how do you how do we how do we actually get over that right and I'm not a chaser so I ain't gotta worry about that you know but literally how do we get over that well how you get over it is you actually have to sit with yourself and you actually have to acknowledge what you do wrong and say you're not going to do it again. But also, you have to have the bravery in the moment to double back. So <laughs> instead of just doing, oh, no, I missed another one, you have to actually reparent yourself. So you have to, like, change the voices in your head and say, hey, instead of going, you know, oh, no, I did it again, say, okay, you know what, I did it again, that's all right. No, I'm going to show you this card. I'm going to show you this card. Because I'm, I'm talking to y'all like this because you have this inner child here a lot. So it's saying you have to talk to the, the child in you and go, it's okay you did that. It's okay. You know what? You can try again tomorrow. And just try again. And it, it, it says nothing about you. It doesn't say that you're a chaser. It doesn't say that you're thirsty. It says nothing. You know, if you're thirsty and you're a chaser and all that, then... um. You're do, if you're doing too much, right? That's that's because you're doing too much. But if you simply know you made a mistake and you try to correct it, that's not doing too much. And I would have fear of that too because of fear of rejection. So that's how you get over that. And things really started to turn around for me when I did that. It it literally changes your whole life because you don't realize how relationships teach you so much about who you are. And that was me being the divine masculine within myself. That was me turning my inner divine masculine that was a fear in fear of not having control, in fear of, you know being rejected or fear of in fear of not feeling like equal because maybe I don't have as much abundance as the next person or I don't have as many accolades that healed my divine masculine because divine masculine has nothing to do with all that divine masculine has everything to do about knowing your purpose managing um knowing knowing where you fit in like sitting there you know creating and building something that's strong and stable for the people around you based on your strengths so that you can exercise that energy that you have to um, assert yourself in a way that's healthy for everyone around you also taking care of yourself in that same exact way you know learning your lessons not being afraid to stand up for yourself but also not showing your hand knowing when to calm down knowing that knowing when the beast within is enough let people feel that you know what I mean like and also going after your, your dreams with reckless abandon. So, and that, none of that has anything to do with material. None of that has anything to do with rejection. You won't worry about rejection if you know you got you got something to offer. If anybody rejects you, you'll just say, "Hey, they're lost, right?" So, I see a lot of you have starting to come into your abundance. You might have like um, some really good opportunities coming towards you work-wise. And that same time, this new love comes in one to wine and dine you and they're spiritually mature. And I'm, I'm getting that it shows you the little bit, you know, more you have to learn. But I'm getting that they, they're supportive and they'll support you through this process. And I'm getting that they're, they're, they have something to learn too. So it's okay. And that's, and that, my friends, is what's called a divine connection, right? When we can love, our, love each other unconditionally and we can um, still grow, okay? So let's look at... I want to pull here. Actually, let's pull this deck. All right, let's look and see what's coming. How do I feel about you? Let's look how. Let's see how do I feel about you, Scorpio. All right, how does this? How does this divine masculine that's watching Scorpio? If, if nobody watching you, or you don't know if they're watching you, they are watching you. And if you're sure nobody's watching you, I'm telling you somebody is. But if they're not, then this ain't for you. This though is for the people that are in a situation where they learn something. Okay, regardless of with your with the person or not. And you're starting to see your partner come into some type of controlled, beautiful, 
um, loving, gracious energy, right? Strong energy. Because you came into that yourself. All right? Some, them, some, someone huge, insanely compassionate, I'm hearing. Insanely compassionate and righteous. All right, so how they feel about you? They feel you're a little judgmental, Scorpio, they, or they fear your judgment, Scorpio. Um, they could feel like... This person feels, I'm, I'm just, I'm just get, I'm gonna tell you what I'm getting. This person feels like you talk to angels or you talk to God. Like that's, like I said, this is Archangel Gabriel. So it's like, they feel like you get messages like directly from the universe. Like, and you listen to them and you do what it says. And <laughs> you're not scared to like cut someone off or leave someone. Like you don't need them. You don't need anybody. Um, and they're in love with you because of that, Scorpio. They're in love with you. Okay. Or they will be. Um... This is showing that they feel like you have some type of artsy talent, like you're a dreamer, okay? This, there's a lot to this card more than just, they're in love with you and they wanna make love to you and all, whatever. This also means sexually fluid, okay? So they think you're a freak, let's just put it like that. Um, but they also feel like you be you could be on your high horse about something you do, and they feel like you're supposed to be there, <laughs> okay? Like whatever your dreams are, they might be big, but they feel like you have the talent, the skills, and the creativity to back it up, okay? And I love that about you. It's, it's inspiring them to want to make judgment calls in their life in regards to their own dreams, talents, and passions. How do they feel about you, Scorpio? Yeah, they feel like you are just so kind, compassionate, loving, intuitive. They feel like you have a big heart that you love real hard. They know it. They know you. They know you love real deep, real hard. They know you love a lot of people. They feel like you're an overgiver. They feel like you need to have more judgment too with who you love and what you love because they feel like that you're probably somebody that can easily be taken advantage of, and they don't like that. Okay. They feel like you need someone around you that really um, appreciates you. Yeah. This is like friends. They feel like people have a lot of good things to say to you. You might have a lot of good friends, but also. You you might be alone a lot because of that. So they feel like there's something about you they connect to, y'all have in common right here. Could be music, because that's a card of music and so is the card of the Knight of Cups. Maybe you have shared a lot of the same taste in like music or arts or whatever, more the creative arts. Um, they feel like y'all also could have a lot of friends in common. Some of y'all could know the same people, which is why they hear good things about you and they ask about you. But they feel also the pressure on your end because it feels like they feel you psychic, psychically with that um, Queen of Cups. So this person could be intuitive like you if they're showing up as the Knight of Cups, the dreamer. It's like almost like they get lost in your in your voice. They get lost in your in your thoughts, uh, the thoughts of you, something like that. Um, let's see what else. How do I feel about this? Is a really pretty energy, Scorpio. It's very. Um, I'm getting like a crystalline energy, like 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 when ice like like when you <laughs> like when you zoom in on like snowflakes or ice forming it's very very like picturesque and i want to say ice because there's some type of wall here up okay look well, knight of cups wanted to come out again yeah it's like your backs are to one another it's like you're going in different directions but you're still and they're moving so maybe this person regrets moving in a different direction from you and that's why they want a second chance so this is somebody that could want a second chance yeah it's like it's like this is about change so with the wheel of fortune they could have felt so fortunate to have met you when they did and now they want to circle back around because maybe their life changed timing again with this wheel of fortune is different but it's like they feel this is destiny this is the wheel of destiny like they feel like it was divine timing when y'all met y'all could have had a chance to kind of look at that the, the tower just fell out oh my gosh boom the tower this person is going to come in unexpectedly, just like that, because that came in unexpectedly, Scorpio. That's how they feel about you. Maybe they feel like you just, it's like, it's like ever since they interacted with you or, or um, intuitively picked up on you, some of you, some of y'all have never met this person. It's just an intuitive psychic connection. You feel like you're in a relationship and like, it turns out it's this person. Like I'm getting like a heavy psychic vibes. Like some of you have been feeling this person like long before you met. And it's like, when you meet, it's like, that's the person I've been dreaming of. I already know you. You've already been I've already been talking to you. Um, and then maybe some of you have met once and that's been happening ever since, right? But I'm getting more than a year because you have this Wheel of Fortune. Some of y'all, it's been a long time. So some of y'all, it could be 10 years, shit. So somebody wants to 
come back into your life, Scorpio, and I'm getting, this is a lot of divine energy. This is a divine union that's meant to come together. But I'm getting when they come at you like a knight, meaning they were really just for you. Like their love was just for you, okay? So they're gonna grow into that king. But nobody else could grow them into that king, which means they were always moving, moving through from one person to the next. No one was quite right. Not until you, until there was you. So this person is gonna come in unexpectedly, um, but I'm getting that how they feel about you is they can't, they just feel like their life hasn't been the same or, or things haven't been the same since they met you or since they, they could have just gone through a breakup too unexpectedly. They had to make a choice, some of them, because of, because of you, okay? Because of change, again, because of the eight loop. This too, this too is about a weighted decision. You feel like a fool, like it's like you're, this is a fool, like juggling two coins and saying that like the fool is, it's an, it's ignorant. So what, what they learn about juggling two coins is that, oh, I, I can make different types of decisions. Like this coin, I, I, it takes a long time to cultivate a coin in the tarot, right? So it's like I have this coin and I have this coin. So I learned something. So I don't need all this anymore. Now I can just have one and get what I want, right? I can grow one because juggling two, I, I, I never get to put one down. So there's a thing like he had this person, he had to put, <laughs> they had to put someone down and to be with, to be with you because you changed them. You taught them something, right? Or they just grew up. It's like maybe the juggling you, knowing they had you, you're a gem and what they thought was a gem, they realized you are the real true gem. So how do they feel about Scorpio? They feel like you don't want to talk to them though. They feel like you're, you intuitively like think they're like young acting or something or immature, I want to say. So they have a plan. <laughs> they have a plan. This is the three of pentacles. It's, it represents like planning, um, building together, working together, collaborating. So it's like they want to talk to you, right? And this is somebody who want to talk to you every day with the three of pentacles. But it's also about they want to build something magical with you. So it's like, let's work together. Let's put our skills together. I mean, y'all must have similar skills maybe work, whatever. Um, and they wanna put y'all skill together, both of y'all together and work on a project or something with them, a plan with them, something they're planning to, that you guys will have together, that you made together, so you're stuck together. Like this person, yeah, death. So this, that, this is about you. They want you to never, ever be able to leave them again. Like, so to, so to speak, like, I mean, obviously you do you, right? But like, I'm not getting crazy. I'm just getting like, they wanna transform the situation to something where it's you and them. Like you have to, you got it, you're attached to them somehow. And it, and it looks like there's gonna be monetary gain involved. So they're looking out for you. All right, so let's see, how do they feel out? How feel? How does this person feel about you in their heart? Yeah, two of pentacles, they're not sure. Why are they not sure? They feel, ah, because they wanna to talk to you. Okay, I get it. So this person feels like, also they wanna know if you wanna have kids. They wanna make sure you wanna have kids. Mm. Um, some of you might have a kid and maybe they don't know how that's gonna go, but they also know that, yeah, this person wants to have more. They wanna know if you wanna grow. So this person is, oh, I got this. So with the Hermit energy, is Virgo energy. Virgo energy takes things step by step, once at one day at a time. So is that Virgo energy. And then the goal is the Capricorn energy there with the Three of Pentacles, like to work together, right? So that what they want is they want to make you this offer, but they're juggling. You see the Three Pentacles are in their heart. They have the plan, but they've been like weighing up the options. What, what should I do? Because they want to make sure like, they want to make sure it's the right thing to do to get you. Like they almost don't want to present it to you and then you have you reject them because you know you have someone else or or um it's not really what you want. So they want to make sure they give you what you want so they have success. So they're nervous. That's what I'm getting, they're nervous. But that's another inner child th thing within them that's that's likely changing because of this situation. Because this represents like all of a sudden, like they just like kind of like bust through. Because it's like they can't take it anymore, the tower, right? Like the pressure with the judgment card. There's a lot of pressure they're feeling to make a decision. i also getting with this Virgo energy, which is what I wanted to say. With the Hermit, it means they spent such a long time like going within and learning and getting the wisdom about what they want to do with this situation with you that they already know you're their star. They know you're their destiny. They know you're their light at the end of the tunnel. They've already, they know it matches their light, right? So, but they're unwilling to kind of admit that or say that until they know how you feel too. They don't, this person is deathly scared of rejection. <laughs> Similar to how you probably are, right? All right, so let's see what else. This could be an earth sign. Virgo towards Capricorn. What else? Show me how they feel about Scorpio. The moon. So the challenge is there, you can't shake it in their intuition, they like, they can't look at that six of cups to clarify the moon there. 
they can't shake that like you the sense of home or like balance and it's the fact that it's like this magical spiritual gift that you became like their person they can't shake that they just can't shake that this person is i want to almost say like awe inspired by you scorpio like awe inspired but it's it's deeper than that it's like it's it's not just like you it's like you show them who they are too because you're just alike you're just alike so it's like no they're like how would i however would i find someone else to top this right so the challenge is as secretly they it's something about the past like the, or their childhood they but i'm but i'm not really getting that i'm getting that it's it's a challenge for them to open up about their childhood or open up about their past um, and they know with you, they're going to have to be completely vulnerable, okay? There could be a child involved. You have a sign of cancer here now as well. All right, so... Oh, they could be a Pisces too because you have water signs here. But what I'm getting also is it's also a challenge for them to follow their intuition because because of their past and how maybe they didn't, you know, they always were going through illusions, delusions, with people being too mysterious and finding out later, you know, things that were hurtful about a situation that caused maybe a breakup. So this person is very, very hesitant to come towards you, but I'm seeing a lot of communication that will inevitably come your way out of the blue. Um, mostly because they're getting the signs and synchronicities from the universe the angels here that you are their person and they trust that this person is intuitive okay tell me how they feel about scorpio tell me how they feel about scorpio death card yeah okay they feel they feel like being around you too would be a complete life change it'd be completely transformative experience also they feel like nothing again nothing is ever the same ever since they've been thinking about you this person thinks about you i'm getting all day non-stop like you're always on my always on their mind yeah, the lovers. Could be a Gemini. So, Scorpio. This person is so darn attracted to you. Um, they would be willing to, like, make a, make a change in their life for you as well. Wow. It's like they choose you. It's like they know they choose you without having to, like, try. They just want you to choose them, too. There's a lot. There's almost an infatuation here. But it's both of you, though. I'm getting both of you. Some of you know who this person is. If you do, it's definitely both of you. All right, let's see. But you never dated before. That's what I'm getting. Or if you did, it was brief. All right, how do I feel about Scorpio right now? Current energy. What was their outcome? How do I feel about Scorpio? All these cards. The devil wanted to pop out. It didn't come out, though. But there's, they know it's getting toxic. They, their obsession. They know it. Dang. Okay. So right now... They're feeling the need, like they can't let you go. They know they need to open up. They know they need to open up. So how I read this is, I read it kind of reverse. So the reason why is because under here you have four of wands. So this person is going through a lesson right now, perhaps reparenting themselves, because that has everything to do with this card, especially above the six of cups. It's like, why am I, this is about thinking, like why am I flighty in relationships or why do I keep going through the same thing I've always gone through with different people? And they're going deep within and it's a challenge for them because they're having to explore their past. And when they explore their past, they're seeing that they're holding on to like, you know, belief systems I maybe mean, from their parents or society that kept them stuck, okay? Thinking they like, maybe like, I'm getting this whole energy of like, thinking somebody be out to get them or or like abandonment issues or, or or the way things should be so to speak you know they're breaking out of that why because they want this new beginning with you they want a relationship with you somebody wants to jump into a relationship with you right away and they see the doors open like the door is open if this person was with someone else they already walked away from this one and they're coming towards you with some type of solid stable offer that they want to grow into something long term okay because they see you as solid gold they see you as high value this person is extremely attracted to you okay so i'm getting here like once you have this conversation how they feel about you they they're almost erratic i'm i feel like they're coming like they might even be like a smart aleck when they come in like they might come rushing in like an idiot <laughs> But it's like, they're not an idiot. That's just how they talk. That's what I'm getting, like, they're, um, they're overwhelmed with the situation, with the, the emotion, yeah. Somebody's very happy. 
Okay, they're, it's like they would be so happy if you just t like take them back or or give them a second chance, like sh prove to you like they they want this. And when I see a Scorpio, they they love you. They they want to marry you. This person sees marriage with you. I feel like this person has never with the Two of Swords. They've never been in a situation where they never even talked to the person like that, and they had to. They felt like they were forced to make a decision about like maybe a, an ex here. Okay, because they know this is this could be you too. Like you're not gonna take anything that doesn't serve you. They know they know you require balance. They know you require a, like a, a commitment. Okay, so what I'm getting is that this person wants to invite you out. They want to take you out. They want to they want to have fun with you. They think you're super fun. They think you're crazy. There's something about the way you talk that's a little like edgy or fun or creative, and they feel like everybody's drawn to you like a magnet. They want to do some like they want to have freedom with you. They want to travel with you, go somewhere far and wide and, and interesting with you, but also like, they wanna be silly with you. I'm getting they wanna, this is about sexual freedom here. I'm getting they wanna try some freaky stuff with you. And then I also am getting that they want to have like a lot of awesome conversation. What I'm getting too is they wanna to talk to you all the time. Like this is the person that's going to text you, call you, you have a great conversation, you might be a little drained, and then they call you right back. Text you right back, because I wanna see what you're doing. This person is a little obsessed with you, they're a little neurotic, but it's cool. Because like, if you're like me, and in the past, when you were toxic, because I'm not anymore, right? Um, and you like someone that's slightly obsessed with you, that's good for you, right? Because this person is obsessive. So you see how we always get what we deserve, what we want? Let's pull one more love card. Let's see what we get. Oh, love! Oh my God, Scorpio, they love you. That's how they feel about you. They love you, they love you, and they love you because you respected yourself enough to turn away from them, and that's how they know you're divine feminine, because you didn't want them for whatever they, you know, think they have, or whatever they're used to woo wooing people with. You wanted them, you respect yourself more than that. You're like, I'll go build my own damn empire. Yeah, this, yeah, so an ending brings a new beginning here, and it makes someone become a mature man, and now you have a sudden, sudden wealth, and this is a love reading, so they feel like they could they feel like they hit the jackpot with you. Let's just say it like that, okay? Yeah, and they want you to be their main John. So you're about to, this person wants to court you. They want to, what I get off this is they want to do it the right way. Like they want to, they want to take it step by step with you and you really get to know you and like make you feel comfortable and, and they want a whole process. I'm getting, they want a good story to tell the kids because <laughs> I got a four card of the family, okay? I mean, I'm getting, they want to meet your family. Oh wow, Scorpio, this, this reading is overwhelming me. It's so lovey-dovey. So I don't do love readings like that. I'm always trying to tell people what else is in the cards. All right, so, Four of Pentacles. I'm saying I can't let you go. So what is the outcome there, Four of Pentacles? I'm trying to tell you what's about to happen. Yeah, what's about to happen? I'm just getting to come in out of the blue. Fate, oh my God, look at that. Yeah, fate. Fate leads to marriage. It's a destined partnership. It says you were together in a past life. Which is there anyway with the um, Six of Cups, all right? Scorpio, that's your love reading, <sighs> okay? How they feel about you is, yeah, I know you're playing it safe right now. Oh wait, how do you feel? How about that? They, okay, you're playing, I'm getting it. They know you're playing it safe, so that's, all you're, that's what you're doing? You trying to play hard to get, Scorpio? They know you want them, but you're not saying nothing. Cause yeah, like I said, self-respect. So, so they're making a plan, okay? They're making a plan. You have a plan. Did I tell you to have a plan? All right, so how does, let me see real quick. How does Scorpio view this person? How, how do you feel about this person, Scorpio? All these cards on the table, I hate messy table, but. You feel they're a little, um, they get a lot of attention, they're popular, they could be well known. Um, with the Six of Wands though, you feel like they want to win you, almost like they're a tro like you're a trophy, so you're kind of worried about that. But also, I think too, kind of like that. Yeah, I, I feel you guys. It's, it's stroking your ego a little bit, Scorpio. They stroking your ego. Or this person, if you were together, you would feel like it would be mutual, but mutually beneficial in that way. You both stroke each other's ego in a good way. But also you could feel like this person would be an accomplishment for you too. Like maybe you've dated around and you, and you know a good one when you see one, but you know, you're not willing to compromise yourself, which is great. Um, but how you feel about them is they want, they want your attention right now. You know that they want your attention. What else? How does Scorpio feel about this person? You feel like they just watch. You, you could have messaged them, some of you, and you feel like they just watch it and look at it and just say nothing. That's annoying. 
you also feel like they, they're slow. Some of you could know, though, that they're slow. Because when you have a, it's a coin person, you know they're trying to learn everything about you. In a tower, you know they're going to come in, but you know it's going to be a shock because you know they like you. And you, This is the energy of, like, you know everything, Scorpio, but you kind of don't have proof. So when it does happen, you might freeze. You might freeze! Because the King of doesn't really show his hand right away. So it's like, you have a crush on them, too. Right here, you know y'all have a lot in common. Y'all know this is the yin to your yang. Earth and water in a spread, they're always so good together. It's like where you're, it's like where you're, um, it's like they're grounded where you're not grounded. And you're, you're more like light, light and carefree where they're not. So you complement each other. That's why, you, so you know they're in love with you and you're, you're in love with them too, but you're holding it back. You're, you're more in control of your emotions than they know you are. Um, so cross watcher, Scorpio knows you like them. <laughs> Scorpio knows you want to be with them. Scorpio's playing hard to get and acting like they're too good or they don't care. They don't need you, but they want you real bad. They want you real bad. Okay? All right. So take action, cross watcher. Scorpio's not going to do it first. I'm telling on them. I'm telling on y'all. All right. Talk to y'all soon. I hope that helped. Bye.